In video number five, we'll talk about the Groups tab. So on the Groups tab, there are three filter boxes at the top. You can select columns in which to search, and you can use different types of criteria. So we can see in this Add Groups tab, we have the columns Group and Destination URL. So we can choose to search on any columns, meaning both of those add group specifically or destination URL column. So for example if we wanted to look for the add group name contains we could type in window for example. Down here in the bottom left you'll see account we see 0 of 39. If we clear this we can see 0 of 40. So that means one group was filtered out. So we could say window but does not contain, for example, the ad group does not contain windows. So these are groups that contain window, but not windows. We can clear the filter by clicking this clear button, and that's an idea of how the filters work. You can use three filters to filter the area down here below. You're probably wondering what does that do? Well, that allows you to do quite a few things. For example, let's say we want to filter casement. So we have four groups that are related to casement windows. We have fiberglass casement windows, vinyl, wood, and just regular casement. If we wanted to just have one group called casement and we didn't care about the materials of windows, we could actually drag these groups right over to the casement windows add group, drop them, and that would basically merge the keywords that are in these three add groups here with the one add group called casement windows. So drag and drop functionality allows you to merge multiple groups into a single group if you want. And in order to use these, you can use the shift key on your keyboard for example, I'm holding shift right now, and if I select the bottom one, you can see how it selected these three. Likewise, if I were just to hold my control key, I can click control, and it will select several that I want. So I'm holding the control key. Anything that's highlighted blue, I could drag and drop into some other group that I choose. So on these tabs, we have the Add Groups tab, we have Ads, and we have Keywords. In the bottom, you'll notice you can change the fields. So for example, if we knew that we had a specific page related to garden windows, let's say it was http windows.com slash garden dash windows. And then let's say we had over here, we had a vinyl windows. So we could say or we could actually filter vinyl. So these ad groups will be sent to the slash vinyl dash windows page, for example. Now let's go ahead and clear the filter and we can see that we're defining where we're going to send this traffic. So by this traffic I mean the keywords within these groups are going to send to some place and in PPC Campaign Generator you can define your destination URLs on the group level if you want to. It's completely optional. And the reason is the ads created for each group will use the destination URL if you assign it to the ad group here. So let's just take a closer look. Let's look into this Casement Windows ad group. I selected it in the tree here on the left. Now let's go to the Keywords tab, and we can see keywords within this group. Now you'll probably notice that if you didn't do Step 2, the Grouper tab, right, you'll see keywords that are unwanted. So I can see crank, cranks, hinges, latches. In this example, I'm pretending to be a replacement window contractor. So I don't want to bid on keywords where people are looking for parts. And so what I can do 
even if I screwed up here on the grouper tab. And, and what I would have normally done if I were to take my time with this is I would click the add domain keyword list. I would come here, select F1 only. Make sure this minimum number of keywords per group is set to 1. Make sure this merge singular and plural checkbox is unchecked. Hit save changes. Analyze. And this way you can see every single word that is within your keyword list here. And then what you want to do is go through it. And for example, let's first take a first pass and take out anything that is brand related. So for example, I'll select Pella, Anderson, Depot. I know that's a Home Depot, so I'll just select that. And just kind of go through this. There's this gelled, that's for gelled when. This is Milgard, and so on. You'll just do this for each brand that you can identify. And ask yourself, do you want to bid on brand terms or not? And what I do is, once they're all selected, I hit negative. And this way I have this list populated down here. And after that, when all the brand are removed from this keyword list, I'll come through here. And then I'll look for anything I don't want. So for example, parts and lines. And this 8 stands for Windows 8. And let's say trim and so on. So you, and once that's all done, you'll go ahead and hit negative and create your list of negatives. And plus, when you do that, you're going to have to do this anyway because you're going to want to have a negative keyword list. So you might as well do it right here during this process or this step on the grouper tab before you get to the groups tab. So after that's done, you'll actually have a list that looks something like this. So we have, these are the brands that I identified, and then these are all the negative keywords that I identified as well. And so you'll see some cities in here, you'll see some windows, um, actual computer terminology, you'll see window treatments, blinds, and windows for different automobiles. So with those selected, what you can do on the Groups tab, let's say you didn't do that first hand, go ahead and just select the campaign level in the tree, and then we can say, look for any keyword that contains the full word, and then we'll just paste our list in and then we can see that our list got filtered right here and these are all the words that contain modifiers that we don't want to bid on because they're not relevant to window replacement so let's go ahead and select all of them hit delete so in doing that we no longer have those keywords in our list so now let's check out the windows casement group we still see hinges, for example. So let's just type in hinge. We can delete that if we want to. And you can do this until you find and filter out any unwanted keywords. We see crank. And there we go. So that's kind of an idea in a nutshell on how to actually do this and refine your ad groups, making sure they're exactly the keywords you want within those groups. So you can use these advanced filters, you can assign specific destination URLs if you wanted to, down here in this destination URL field, and then we have another advanced feature, which is you can add these IDs to each keyword. And I'm going to make a separate video for that because this video is more for just the basics, just what does this groups tab do. So essentially in a nutshell, it allows you to filter. You can also add keywords to a certain group by clicking add keywords. Select your group you want to add keywords to. And you can add groups. So for example, if we wanted to create a competitor group, we could do that. And then we can go to our list of brands right here, copy them, say the keyword contains 
let's say contains full word and then we can select all these keywords here I just did that by hitting control A and we can drag them to the competitor group so we know where our competitor keywords are if we want to use dynamic keyword insertion we don't run the risk of inserting competitor keywords into the headline and having problems later on down the road so that's kind of a long way of saying um, this is the groups tab and hopefully just play around with it and everything else should be pretty much good to go oh there's also this one thing you can undo a group here by clicking undo groups if you click this undo group at the top it'll undo every single ad group that you created if you undo a specific ad group it will take those keywords in that group and it'll put it back here in the main keyword list area to allow you to pretty much regroup if you need to so these are really powerful features as well the next video we're going to talk about creating ads and how we can generate ads for each ad group